name is Kobe. Um, this is a Rapid Rhino RC channel, and today I'm going to make my first, I don't know, effort at making an instructional video. And I'm going to take and just do a simple soldering instruction. This is a Turnigy, oops, get it right side up, 2.2 3S, yep, 3S 30 to 40C dischargeable battery. It came with the some funky connector that I don't use, and I'm going to put Dean's connectors on it. So, first things first, I've cut the end connection down, and I'm going to take my knife and just wrap it around there, and pop off the cover. And I'm only going to do one side at a time, because this is a charged battery, and the other side is live, so I don't want to accidentally touch them and short the battery out. So. Anyway, I'm going to stop the camera for a moment, plug this in, get my Dean's connector set up, and then I'll show you my soldering technique. Alright, so this is my Dean's connector. This is the end that's going to go on the battery. And if you look at this side, you can actually see that it's labeled plus and minus for which pins are which. Now, to make my soldering easier, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into it's a reciprocal connector. I'm going to take it and plug the, or put this reciprocal connector in the vise. That way there's no pressure on the piece that I'm heating up. Um, my soldering iron seems to be pretty warm. I'll check it in just a second. Like I said, not the world's best soldering iron, but it functions for the moment. Um, I'm going to take some solder, get a little bit on my tip, make sure the tip is good and warm, it is, it's good to go. So now I'm going to take and heat up the dance connector. So I'm basically tinning each side, try to zoom in this in just a little bit. So now that I've got that good, good and heated, Put a little bit of solder on there. Let me get it good and heated. So now it's there. It's flowing smoothly all around the tip. So that is done. Um, I'm going to actually pop it out and do the same thing for my negative connector. Get that warmed up. Warm it up from the bottom. I set it on there, make sure it's good and covered. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing to my wire. I'm going to tin the wire so it's ready to go. Okay, so now I've got that nice and tinned. Next I'm just going to take a piece of my Heat shrink tubing, figure out the camera here, cut just enough of that to give me a good cover. Slide that down over my wire. What I typically try to do here is go ahead and heat that up and get the wire on top of it. Get the solder on the wire good and heated. And pull it out. Add a little bit of additional heat from the top. And there we go. And conveniently you can't smell that, but I think I've got a couple of my hairs on the uh, shaft of the iron. So it kind of smells like burnt hair at the moment. So I got that done. Slide my connector down there. Grab my handy heat gun. Good to go. Now I know I've seen lots of people do this with a uh, lighter. Conveniently, I already had the heat gun, so I uh, 
Don't have to worry about it. I used to use it for some networking stuff. Thank you.